Welcome to another video. My name is Nyx or you can call me Nicole or Swirly and I am a part-time artist living and working in the northeast of England trying to make it the full-time dream. Today I wanted to show you an art studio tour, my first ever art studio tour. I'm going to take you around the room. It's quite a small space. I want to show you how I store things, how it works for me. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this studio tour of which is my first ever one and I've only been doing this for a year so I wanted to show you how I've built it up over the past year. You can go back and watch the earlier vlogs if you want to see kind of what it looked like then but this is going to be like a full tour around the room and I'll show you my decorative items, some of the things aesthetically I do to like be on brand and some of my storage solutions some things I don't have solutions for yet because I'm still learning, I'm still growing, it's kind of, it's a work in progress but I'm actually renting at the moment and I've been renting this place for over a year now and I'm actually moving into a new house, my dream house with my husband at the start of 2024. In the first few months we're not sure yet because it's a new build so we're waiting for it to be built but I'm going to have a bigger studio space and I'm going to film and document decorating that again, taking everything and changing things around because um, obviously it's a different shape, it's got different lighting, I know what the room kind of looks like. I thought I need to document my old, my first art studio, I need to show you guys around and I hope you enjoy. Okay so this is the door as you come into the room, um, I have a dream catcher on the back. I've actually had this since I was a teenager and I've just brought it with me whenever I've moved. I don't know, I just really like it. So I've got some art prints here. I don't have a little, lot of wall space at the moment, but I have some art prints from um, Kelly Lou, um, Emily Harvey, Piper's Art, um, Catnip, things like that. I've got a little bit of foliage here. I've got my pin banner here. I want to get like a large pin wall thing when I move studios but for now I've got this here with all my pins on and I've got an art cart down here which is a mess like I can't get this sticky off um, so I need to work on that and I've still got this on from the pandemic so I need to just kind of take take that off take that off but anyway that doesn't matter I've got an art cart here which has got a lot of my um, more traditional art supplies on so I've got like polymer clear things I've got a clear roller here I've got clear here got some pastels, I've got some wood slices for some sculptures, I've got some paint down here and just bits and bobs like that and in the top I've got like just extra pens and things, I've got like a tiny little bin that's a cat and I've got I've got polymer clear tools in here, I've got some glue, so that's basically just extra storage at the moment for some traditional art supplies which I'll probably be rejigging when I move house. So this section here this big shelf is where I keep most of my stock. Um, I start at the bottom. So down here is where I keep a lot of like paper bags. This is for polymer clear for cooking it. Um, this is just a receipt folder. I've got paper bags that I use for mystery packs. So I just keep them there for now. I've got some printer ink and things down here. It's just kind of miscellaneous. That's what I like to call this bit, miscellaneous. And then I've got some large paper underneath and I've got some different papers and things I use for my printer and my stickers here so I've got glitter paper that I use, I've got craft card that I use for making packaging when I cut and print packaging and just different things like that. I've got sticker paper uh, and I've got a couple of mats here for my silhouette machine. So further up I've got some charms here that I sometimes sell at markets but I don't sell online. I don't find they do very well but you've got to You've got to try different things, haven't you? And I've got art prints here, but I really want a better storage system. I'm going to have more art prints and I'm going to be able to fill this up, but I need some dividers for them. But I've got them all here anyway. Over here, I've got my washi tape and I really like this storage. I actually have more of these just here. But I have my washi tape here and I've got some labels across of what they are, but I'm actually getting quite low on them, um, especially the fungi. But I like using these magazine files for them and eventually I want like rows of them with all my different washi tapes in. Up here I've got some glitter stickers in there and I've got some magnets at the back. But I'm going to sell these out and I'm not going to redo them because I make these 
myself and I don't have the time anymore to keep making them. Because these take so long to make, I get most of my things manufactured now, so I'm going to let those run their course. And They're almost sold out anyway, but then I've got these little boxes that I can use for something else. I've got some, I use this to keep them, the sticker packs up, but I actually only have these left. These sell out really fast, but these take a long time to make, which is a pity. If I had more time, I would make more, but that's usually where I keep my sticker packs. I've got bookmarks here. But I really need a better storage solution because they're just kind of laid out and I've got tassels at the back. I've got some packaging here, but when I move I want to reorganise this. Up here I've got some die cut stickers which I need a storage solution for. I'm thinking about getting some of those plastic trays uh, where you put them individually. So I've got more stickers coming on this up shop update. I'm probably going to do that but for now I've just got them laid out here. I've got um, my glitter ones at the front. And I've got transparent ones at the back and I've got sticker packaging just here to put them all in when people order. I've got sticker sheets here and I've got sticker sheets here. Now, this storage works. I don't know whether to get another one because I can't really fit it anywhere. Or whether to get something where they can all be like kind of like this. But I really like having them all there. Um, and I think I might just like put them closer together because then I can see them all, I'm not sure. Let me know if you sell stickers and how you display your sticker sheets. Now up the top, I've got some extra, an extra grid unit and I just keep some excess yarn in here from crochet um, and I just put the leaves around because I think it looks really pretty. I've got like a little portion banner here. I can't remember where I got this from actually, but I thought that was cute. I've just got some plants and things, plants and things on the top just just bits and bobs that need to find a homes basically. I've got some decorative things here but I'll probably use this for stock as I grow my stock levels but for now I've just got some crochet toys that I made. I think they're cute anyway. I've got like a little mushroom at the back. I've got some ghosties here. I've got a chicken but yeah I just keep them there for now. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them but I do I do have like a little um shelf on the side that i keep some of my toys on and um, this is handmade from in an artist on twitch called megazar so i won that i won that in a giveaway which is really cute i made the bee i got the cat at a craft fair and i got this little soul guy i don't know if you've seen soul but that's from disney but i just thought the face was really funny <laughs> that's basically it um, so that's my crochet and I've got a jar of pom-poms because why why would you not have a jar of pom-poms, right? This shelf has my silhouette machine on. It's the Silhouette Cameo 4 and it's amazing. I wouldn't change it. I certainly wouldn't get a Cricut. It works really well for me. It's not perfect by any means, but it doesn't actually fail me that much. So that's my silhouette. Below it I have my printer, this is a Canon Pixma iX6850, I have some stickers on there but this is what I use to do all of my printing for my brand labels and my packaging and things and if I do make stickers I use this, I love it, I've had it for, oh I've had it for two years now, maybe over two years and I wouldn't change it, I would recommend it if you like Canon products. Down here, this is just some spare boxes in there and I've just got some tester, tester materials for things. Um, I've got some packaging for key rings. I've got my notepads here. These were the first ever notepads I did. As you can see, I've only got like six note of these left. These were super popular and I just keep the belly bands here if I've got any already prepped. But eventually I want more notepads across here. This is just miscellaneous stuff. This is seconds for when I do a second seal and I've just got like backing cards, test print stuff and miscellaneous things in here just like random things that you need for for running your business you know i've got a paper cutter that i just keep down there so moving on from this shelving unit this is the main desk i use to pack orders and also to do photography because i've got the window here so i just keep some props and plants here for backdrops and things so they're like ease of access and this is obviously just for autumn i've got my thank you cards here for when i'm packing and I've got like tripods and things. This is a sunset lamp, which I really like and sometimes adds like a warm hue 
when I'm doing photography um, and I've got this tripod but I wouldn't recommend it it's terrible I really need a new one so this is the table I use and I like this wood look because it matches my brand aesthetic this is Nova oh dear she's very tired of me talking but underneath I've just got a rubbish bin and I've got some spare space here which I don't know what to do with yet I keep my tissue paper under here this is a photography backdrop and just some cardboard boxes this is where I keep my packing worms that has market stuff shoved in the corner this is a bit that all needs organizing when I move studios but for now it's really good to just keep it all under the desk so I've got like um, extra electronic things here this is for all props packaging and things for like bigger orders and I've got boxes and envelopes and it looks messy but it's not like that's just packaging um, and this is toy stuffing for my crochet projects you can see how messy this is things aren't always as aesthetically pleasing as you want them to be but this desk I use to keep but it's kind of an overflow desk so I keep my packaging stuff along the top so I've got envelopes here I've got my freebies that you get in every order so I keep them in this little plate that I found this wood plate which is cute corner rounder paper tape I use these glue tape things for belly bands on notepads and they work pretty well I've got a stamp here um, and the ink and I've got cello here I use biodegradable for all my products I've just got some autumn leaves here for photos and this pegboard is where I keep like branding stickers and things like that and then up here is where I've got all my ivy and my fairy lights which I love it doesn't actually take that long to put up I use like little plastic hooks that makes everything feel cozy and sort of like brings the nature in um <laughs> so this desk is basically just used for overflow like when i'm packing orders or when i've got excess stuff this is just my current crochet project i've been making a pattern for autumn so that's just there so over in this corner is where i do all of my work i've got my double monitor set up keyboard mouse etc i've got my label printer here i need to change this over to my new logo this sticker but this this label print, I can't remember what brand it is, um, Jaden's. This is a Jaden's label printer and I've got the labels behind. I've got like a little storage thing here that I just keep bits and bobs in that I need, like my notepads and pens, like hand sanitizer, you know, just bits like that. I've got my planner, I always got my planner pad on my desk. I've got a touch lamp, I've got my mushrooms, I've got my iPad it sits on this side, I've got art supplies here which I'm probably going to move to a different desk when I move studios but for now they're just here this has got like acrylic painting my washi tape and more tools on the top I've got my lovely green chair which has currently been taken up by my cat but I love this chair it's so comfortable I would recommend it I got it from Amazon this is just my pegboard that I keep next to my desk I've just got a load of decorative things on here or things that mean something to me like I've got my old thank you cards I've got my magic band that I got from Disney I've got one of my old art prints I've got a thank you card from Emily Harvey on there and some extra sticker sheets and things and then behind on this unit that I keep behind my desk is my sales tracker of which it is September and I've got 40 out of 50 orders for the month and then this unit doesn't have a lot of business stuff in I've got some books and things here like I've got Polly McClear book I've got the art of Encanto here I've got some other bits and bobs here but it's just kind of random at the moment until I organize that on the top I actually have my old logo but I'm going to take this frame and I'm actually going to use it for markets for price signs I think so I'm not going to replace that with the new logo and I've just got some other got some plants on there just to give it a bit of height and to sort of fill in the gaps a bit because I don't like when it's just a blank wall this was actually used at my wedding I had a gothic wedding and I, I painted this this was a white tree and I painted it black and it was very tedious and then I've got Disney ears here I've actually got more Disney ears I tend to collect ones that people hand, hand make and I've got these swirly ones that are like Moana but they're so similar to my swirly logo so I've got three of my favorite ears on here and I thought the Moana ears really matched and I've got some Disney artist sketches here that I got from Disney World in last year 
So I got Minnie and I got Mickey and I love Disney sketches. I just love sketch art. And then this unit here, this is just random stuff. This isn't to do with my business. I, th I think my husband's got some Dungeons and Dragons things in here and there's just miscellaneous stuff. And then up here, I've got some mushrooms that I've been making into sculptures that they're unfinished projects and unfinished experiments. So just, just don't look at them, don't look at them. Behind this unit, I've got a cupboard here that I just, it's coming really handy and I'm gonna miss this cupboard when I move. But this is basically just full of extra packaging and just like extra electronic stuff and random bits like that, just not very interesting. It's just like where I store it all and I might actually have to get some sort of like wardrobe or cupboard to keep it in when I move because I don't have a cupboard and I keep my tripod here as well. And that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed my little studio tour. Um, let me know if there's any other information you wanna know about anything that I use or anything that I do. Let me know if you have any solutions for the things I'm having problems with. And I hope you enjoy and I hope you look forward to the new studio in 2024. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, swirlies. <laughs>